Hey everybody, Sean here, and I've got Jan from Bohemia Interactive who's here to tell us about this little game called Carrier Command Gaia Mission. Jan, it, it looks like there's a lot going on here. Is this, a, is this an action game or is this a strategy game? Yeah, actually it's an action game with strategic elements embedded into it. It's based on classic from 1988, Carrier Command. And we've taken this great game and uh, created a modern version of it, remake, if you want. And yeah, so we've taken all that design and improved the opponent and create our own version. Okay. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to capture this island, mm -hmm. which is part of a greater picture of the whole world. Oh, so this is these are all the different islands that you can capture and control and visit, right? Yeah, exactly. And enemy carrier, which is my uh, my opponent in this game, is trying to do the same with my islands. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it gets sometimes it gets uh, more about like having to decide where to go and what to do and when to do it. So yeah, you need to you need to know. know uh, like where to where to put your units mm -hmm. to and how to how to utilize all all the stuff in game in order to effectively defeat him. Okay. Okay. So you can actually switch between vehicles just whenever you want. Yeah, it's really seamless and uh, instantaneous switch. Just switch to a flying unit, Manta, which is sort of crossover between um, UAV aircraft and, and helicopter, so it handles pretty well. And I'm doing a flyby over these enemy Boros units, which are basically tanks. Yeah, oh. managed to <laughs> manage to crash here. Um, yeah, how do you, with all these different vehicles you, that you can uh, pilot, how do you make sure that uh, when you jump into one you know what to do and the controls feel right and you're not overwhelmed with options? Uh, yeah, well, actually, um, you equip this vehicle as as you go mm -hmm. and on the carrier before you you head into head inland. Okay. So you are aware what what each unit has where weapons are concerned. Oh, okay. Plus, uh, you get a story-based tutorial mm -hmm. at the beginning of one of our two campaigns, our story-based campaign. Uh, so you gradually learn how to use these flying units and how, how to use how to use the viruses, which are amphibious tanks, like you can see one here, and also how to use all the systems carrier offers you. So oh, okay, so the the. Strategic stuff is really when you're preparing for a mission and you're deciding which which vehicles to take in. Yeah, it takes some time to travel from island to island, mm -hmm. so you need to. In the meantime, you f fill in the time with uh, production. Because, mm -hmm. for example, here I, I can see I've lost three mantas, so I'll just make three new ones. And when they're done, when they're produced, mm -hmm. uh, producing my stockpile, and I will need to transfer them over using this submersible submarine and it will get like reinforcements to me. Okay. Now is there any sort of like currency or resource that you have to be aware of when you're uh, you know Yeah, you mine resources on, okay. on the islands. You actually set islands to three modes. Either it's uh, mining, which means there are a lot of um, rakes and refineries there which uh, produce resources, or it's a manufacturing mm -hmm. type of island, which means there are factories which produce units or upgrades or weapons, or whatever you need. Or you can set it up as a defense island, which uh, means that it's used to protect these key spots or key uh -huh. islands in your whole, whole island empire or okay. island, island network, it's, which are and then they're really hard for enemy to conquer. So I'm, I'm curious with all these different islands you can go to, just how different do these islands look? Can we uh, jump over to one of the other islands? Yeah, I can show you another island which is an uh, Arctic type of mm -hmm. island. We have six types of islands and this one is uh, Arctic so there's a lot of snow. We can even get snowstorms. 
stuff and in a story based campaign you get you actually get uh, like you get to get an upgrade for it, for example for your volaris to mm -hmm. be able to perform in this environment to be able to climb steep hills like this one uh, on ice and on snow so it's another aspect you, you need to uh, get through if you want to play the story campaign but obviously you have a crew which uh, helps you and guides you and gives you advice on what to do and how to do it but you don't have to follow them, but uh, they just advise you on what might be a good way to see. Sometimes they tell you that the island you're trying to attack might be too much for you because you don't have that that kind of equipment which gets the job done. So, this game here, how does the learning curve compare to another, like Bohemia's other stuff, like Arma? Is it the, would you say it's a little bit easier to get into when you first pick up a controller or you grab a mouse and keyboard on the PC version? Yeah, well, actually, uh, it's not that hard. You, as I said before, you're aced into it in the story-based campaign mm -hmm. where you get, first you get carrier which doesn't really have anything and you, over time, you find new stuff and uh, you are made or like you make yourself acquainted with it and with the help of of hints and okay. and of your uh, of your shipmates mm -hmm. so yeah there seems to be a lot of stuff to to get into but mm -hmm. actually it's not that hard if, if you have a few minutes to, to like get through all the tutorial which the game presents you with okay Actually, I can show you a bit from from the beginning of the tutorial, tutorial and uh, from one of the FPS missions, which are yeah. Let's take. I'm curious to see what the uh, the first person shooter stuff looks like. If you want to show a little bit of that. So this looks quite a bit different from where we were a second ago. Yeah, this is a first mission. You crash landed here on this on this island, and you don't have the carrier mm -hmm. or any of the remotely con uh, units, remotely controlled units. You. I was controlling before, uh -huh. so basically here I first need to get it and uh, to like steal it from the enemy. Okay. And uh, yeah, so this is part where it's a bit tricky because I can die here. And I cannot just like reproduce new cell, mm -hmm. so it's more close to the chest. I'm not like inside inside the carrier at okay. all, but I will get there. So this is this is a story about one specific person and how they come to acquire this carrier and okay. like sort of their own journey. It's not just about a big military who's this big, mighty, powerful thing. Yeah, well, exactly. It's a small, small team. Mm -hmm. I, I get just uh, this guy and uh, one girl and uh, one other guy. They then help me operate the carrier, which is mostly on automatic, but as I said, those are the people that guide me through some stuff and help me, uh, like, advise me. So, but mostly it's around this main character, Myrick, or Merrick, which, uh, well, it's him mm -hmm. who, is, who is, like, representing the player in-game, okay. and uh, basically he, he then sits in the command chair on the carrier mm -hmm. and uh, he's looking at the screen where all the units are performing on a map or in direct uh, direct control okay, and uh, yeah you, you could actually see Next, through the display on the true. map screen before mm -hmm. you could see other people sitting on the bridge of the carrier and working so there so true. it's to it emphasize the fact that you're actually like there on the bridge so obviously we're looking at the uh, the Xbox 360 version of the game. There's also a PC version, right? Yeah, th there's PC version. They're coming both uh, coming both out at the same time, mm -hmm. and they're basically identical in terms of uh, features. Here I'm clearing out the interior of the carrier because I've already reached it, reached it, and there are still some enemy droids inside, and I've finally made made it. And so here. At this scene, I'm 
going to sit in the chair and translate from soldier to commander or captain and that basically concludes the first mission of the story-based guy mission campaign afterwards you get acquainted with all the systems and everything in the carrier okay and so this is basically the captain's chair this is where all the real high-level decisions are made yeah and even low-level ones with uh, like the direct control so he's sitting there and, and controlling everything I actually see all the uh, graphical user interface load up and same as the player gets so basically the player is representing Myrick who sits on, in this chair the whole time Great. Any idea when uh, you're hoping for this game to be completed and uh, available to purchase? Yeah, uh, we're targeting a release date in uh, Q3 2012.